Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Apostle Peter Daniel, by the special grace of God, you are watching me in life program, heaven and hell. Life program, heaven and hell. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the grace of the Lord will be upon you in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to pray, please. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Internal rock of ages, the life living God, we appreciate you because you are almighty. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh, Father, Lord God Almighty, that as we are hearing this message today, we give us the understanding standing of the message in the mighty name of Jesus. You will open our eyes to see. You will open our ear to hear the things of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. Thank you, Jesus, because you are, you are, you are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. By the special grace of God, I'm going to make sure that everything uh is in a very fast rate i will explain things to you uh on the topic of sabbath day there are many people who are asking me the question sir we want you to talk about the sabbath day sabbath day which one is the right worship which one is the right time we call sabbath day why is sabbath this saturday and why is uh why the why why did christian change the, the 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 normal sabbath day of saturday to sunday what day is sunday self so these are the things we are going to talk about today and uh, you show yourself i'm going to talk but as you are looking at me judge for yourself what is the right way to serve God? Which day is right day to serve God? According to the book of Genesis, we want to go there. The book of Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. The book of Genesis chapter 2. It spoke about the Lord giving Sabbath day. In the book of chapter 2, verses... Uh, Two, he said, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he may rested from all his work which God created and made. Do you see now? He said, and God rested on the seventh day. The reason Shabbat come into existence in before God created anything, there's nothing like Shabbat day. In heaven, there's nothing like Shabbat day before God created anything. But when God created things, he created on Monday, he created on Tuesday, he created, he created on Sunday, he created, because Sunday is the first day of the week. He created on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on the Saturday, because it was on Friday that human being was created, Friday. Friday was the day that human being, man, was created. Then on the Saturday, he rested from all the works he has done. He rested. Which is the seventh day. Now, as from that day that he rested, God gave commandment to the generation he has chosen. 
don't forget that there are many people in the world. He's the one that created everyone. You should know that. But he shows some particular group of people which are, who happens to be Israelite people. The people that come from the line of Abraham, especially Isaac. Isaac, Jacob, like that, like that. So he shows the generation and decided to appoint them as a royal priesthood. And as he appointed them, there are rules which he gave to them, which is not applicable to the Gentiles. He called those who are worshipping idol, they are human beings like us. He called those who are not worshipping him, Gentiles. Pagan. But those who he are choosing, he called them the children of Abraham, which means the children of God. So he gave to his own people the laws and rules. The laws and rules to abide and to keep. And out of this law, he commanded that the Sabbath should be observed. It is not a suggestion. It is a command from God Almighty. The Sabbath day should be observed. It means from month, from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you are free to you are, you are free to work. You are free to work in all these days. But on Saturday, God commands that everyone should rest. In those days, there were laws like people must not carry this. People must not cook. People must not work. People must, they have to rest completely resting. Completely resting. That was the law that God gave to all the Israelites. This is applicable to everyone that God has chosen as his own child. Now, listen to me. As time goes on, in the time of Moses, if we find anyone who disobeyed this law of the Sabbath day, there are consequences that we follow. They have the punishment that follow. And one of the punishments that follow anyone that do that is the person should be killed. That is how dangerous and so important that law is. The person should be killed immediately. Because God will take away his covenant from him immediately. The kind of mark he has marked his own children, that mark will be removed immediately. Because of breaking the Sabbath day. That's one of the laws and the consequences of anyone breaking Sabbath day. But as time goes on, this Sabbath day was being observed to the extent that you are not permitted in the time of Moses to treat anybody on the Saturday. It means if somebody is sick, the person, if the, if the sickness cannot endure to Sunday, which is the first day, the person is allowed to leave, they will, they will leave the person there the person should die. It is more preferable in those days, in the law of Moses, it is not more preferable for the person to die than to be rescued on Saturday. This law was so, so carried as a special day that any mistake of you violating it will result to your untimely death immediately they won't stop they won't even wait till tomorrow instantly killing that is how dangerous and how dangerous this law is that is how dangerous the people were taking like they take this hand the, the, the law to the essence that 
you cannot help those who fell in the hole on that Sabbath day. You are, whether you are hungry or not, if you didn't prepare your food on Friday, you are not permitted. You are not permitted. You are not permitted to rescue, to go and rescue yourself in search of cooking food on the, or, or anything. You are not allowed to cook in that time. In that time. Not only that, it doesn't end there. Many things are being observed on that day. On the Sabbath day is the day the Lord said that they should all consecrate themselves. You must be holy. You must not have sex with your wife. You must not have sex with your wife. You must not beat your children on that day because they see it as a day of uh, beating is a energy something you must not all those things must not be present must not be, be done you must not sell you must not buy you must not travel on that day saturday you must not do all these things on that day every labor are not allowed whether water rain fall and the and the water is entering your house and you have to take away the water out of your house you know to take water out of it so that the water will not fill your own room if it happens on saturday you must not do anything leave it like that you have to you have to leave it like that and find solution for yourself that is how serious that law was i have said that i won't take your time I want us to go straight away to what happened to, uh, to, to Jesus Christ, our Lord. We got to see that when Jesus Christ came to the world, Jesus himself observed the Sabbath day. He used to go to the, uh, to, 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 to the temple to go and pray and to go and teach on the Sabbath day. He didn't change it for no reasons. He never come again the Sabbath day. Throughout his lifetime, he was going to serve God on Saturday. Sabbath day happens to be Saturday. And let me tell you so that you can understand, Sabbath day starts from Friday. Friday at the time of six o'clock. So that you can understand. Friday, six o'clock in the evening. That is when Sabbath day started. The Saturday, six o'clock in the evening. So six o'clock on Saturday. Anything after six on Saturday, you are free. But from Saturday, Friday, six in the evening you have to start observing the sabbath that is where the time of the day started not only that we got to know that jesus christ was observing the days of the sabbath but there are things that jesus christ did and i'm going to explain to you in the book of mark chapter 2 open your bible to mark chapter 2 starting from verse 23 i will read and it came to pass that he went through the cornfield on the sabbath day and his disciples began as they went to plug the ears of the corn the ears of the corn 24. And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why do they do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? He's telling them why that why did they have to be plugging things? Because just for them to be plugging something like that and be hitting it, plugging is a work for them. That's what the Pharisee was saying. 25. And he said unto them, 
have ye not read what David did when he had need and was and hungry, he and they that were with him? 26. How he went into the house of God in the days of Abiata, the high priest, and did eat the seal, seal bread, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priest, and gave also to them which were with him. 27. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. 28. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Now, I'm going to explain this to you. We got to find out that in the time of Jesus Christ, there are some laws that attach with the Sabbath day that Jesus Christ revoked. And the reason why he revoked was because he wanted to tell them, he wanted to tell them the right way to practice, practice Sabbath day. Sabbath day is a day of rest, true, true. But it's also a day of you helping your, your, your friends. It's not a day when you see your friend in need or a day you see your friend in troubles and you leave it. The way Israelites were practicing Sabbath day in the time of Moses was a kind of things that God did is not pleased with at all because they take it through extra miles. They take it too far to the extent that they were just sending people to, to hell out of what no meaning. They didn't understand where. That is why he said, I have come to fulfill the law, not to abolish it. He didn't come to uh, to cancel it, brother. But he come to fulfill it in the right way that it should be practiced. When that time, you are not allowed to cook. Jesus, is, that's why he allows his disciples to plug it. You are allowed to eat. So he's coming to correct the law in the right way it should be. Now, it's, Jesus is trying to tell you that on the Saturday, you are allowed to eat. You are allowed to help your neighbor. Because when the word came up and the thing continues, there was a particular time that Jesus had to tell the Pharisee that I'm asking you a question. If your sheep fell inside a, a, a dog, would you help him secretly? So Jesus is trying to say that we should help on that day. It's a time that we're supposed to show love most. Rather, true, true, it is true that we have to rest from all the labors. If God, is, God, God is only commanding us to rest from the labor of activities, of we personally working, personally doing things, personally doing uh, some things. So he's commanding us to rest. Your works you must not open on Saturday at all until, the, until after six. You are not free to open. Anything Friday, six o'clock, Close your service, close your what you are, whatever you are saying, you are, you are selling. You are to close it. And you are to come and uh, uh, to the service. So the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, God is, he not said something here. He said, for Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. In the time of Moses, the way the uh, Pharisees are treating people, it was as if man was made for sab uh, Sabbath, which it was not so. Sabbath was made for people. It was a commandment that God gave to man that you must rest. It's a convenience time. God is trying to say you cannot be working the whole week, you will collapse. 
You cannot be walking the whole week. You will faint. You will seek. So use one day to rest and also to serve me. If you are to do anything on your own for the whole six day, for the whole six day, then use one day as a consecrated and a only day for me, for my own service too. Then you are to rest on that day. So that is why the Bible say it is Sabbath that is made for man. It's for man to control the Sabbath. I it should be. Not that you will take over it anyway, but in the sense that it should not cost life. What Jesus was saying is that it is not up to you killing life. But the question is that to me, it is the same God that said that anybody that 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 uh, that uh, that uh, that, uh, this, that, uh, that come against the law of Sabbath, you should be key. Yes, that is why Jesus come to correct the law. That is why he come to correct the law. And he perfected the law by shedding his own blood as a ransom to perfect every law. By shedding his own blood, he didn't just come to correct it by war, but he asked to die shed his own blood to pay to possess the law back to a right way so what jesus christ is trying to say is that sabbath day should not be a time of inconvenience imagine let me give let me start an uh, example for you now god says that on sabbath day we should not walk too much to a long distance god says we should not buy ourselves I want to ask you a question. Your church is far to your house. On, on Saturday, you are going to service on Saturday and your, your church is very far. You have to take like a very fat, probably car, uh, if you don't have a car, you have to take a bike to the place, to the place of service on Saturday. And God said you must not buy and sell. So it means there's no means of you transporting yourself to a place of service if you didn't have your personal car. Even though you have your personal car, God then, God will tell you that you cannot ride it, that it's a walk. In the time of Moses. But God is not trying to save now. Jesus is trying to clear it now that it is not so hard like that. God is only asking us to rest from work, but there are some things that are necessary to do that you are permitted to do. You are permitted to eat. You are permitted to go, probably to find a cab or to find a bike, uh, a bike to go to the service or to ride there. You are permitted to do that. Necessary things should be taken. Your child is sick, you are permitted to take her to the hospital or to pray for the healing. Because in those days, you are not permitted to pray for the healing of anybody on the Sabbath day. So Jesus Christ is saying it's permitted. If you remember, there was a particular story that happened to Jesus Christ when he was about to heal a, 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 a woman and also another thing again. Wanted to heal a man who is a widow, his hand is, is, is short. Wanted to, he wanted to heal the man. It was all, this miracle was all done on the Sabbath day. The man too, that Jesus Christ told him to carry his load and go. That was laid on him. It was also on Sabbath day. Not only that, the man also they were been on the on the on the river where he has been for thirty eight years or so. It was on Sabbath day that Jesus Christ just tell telling rise up and go. So there are many miracles that Jesus Christ make on Saturday Sabbath day just to make sure that 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 is the right way. It is the time to do miracle. It is the time to help your neighbor. It is the time to do the right thing. Do you understand me? Jesus did not come to cancel it. He only come to correct it. Because of our time I myself have made mistake before, even on the teaching of the Sabbath before. But I have to come back to God and ask Him in prayer. The Lord, how what do you mean? Because the scripture should not be studied by carnality, it should be studied in the spirit. 
in the spirit. I was asking God that which day is the day we should choose to serve you. Is it Monday? Is it Sunday? Is it Saturday? Which day should we choose as a day of service? I prayed with my study and with my findings. I got to know, according when I prayed to God, God told me that every day should be consecrated for him. So it is not just one day that is good for you to serve God, but it is every day. It is not just one day, but every day. You are to be made holy. You are to be made sanctified and righteous in all days. You are to consecrate your body to Jesus all days. But which day are we to choose for the days of service? You can choose any day. But this is what the Bible says. So that when you get there, you will not make mistake. You are to serve God on Saturday. If you are to gather for only day, it should be on Saturday. The reason is because it is a commandment that has been that has been commanded from God from the beginning of Genesis. And when Jesus Christ come, if I want to tell you the truth, if I should tell you, I'm telling you to, to tell you the deep things you do not know. Jesus Christ worshiped God on Saturday. Apostles, the apostles, they also worship God on Saturday. With the findings I made, I got to know that the issue of Sunday service came from Catholic. It was their Pope, one of their Pope that stood up and says that they have right. Catholics always believe that they have right to change the word of God. That they have right to cancel the word and write their whole law. That is the law of Catholic. It's from the Catholic church that they said, let us be serving on Sunday. Serving God and take it as a Sabbath day on Sunday. And the reason for that was because the pagan in those days, they used to serve something they call Son God. Son God. And it is a, Sunday, if you see that Sunday is a shiny day where sun used to shine. So there are particular things there in the Roman Empire there that they are serving some God. So with the influence of this pagan, these people who are serving demons, who are serving Israel, and we are serving uh, idols, they influence the Catholic bishop, uh, the, the, the Pope there. And he decided on his own. He said he has right to cancel the word of God and write and write and bring the word of God or the, that God will accept it. That is their belief. And they cancel it from the Sabbath day to the Sunday. These are many things, Christians. Why Catholic, anybody going to Catholic can never make it. They are the ones taking away the word of God and putting their own. It is not only that, the second reason, the reason why you see that all government, especially where it is a Christian government, they are now commanding that they should be observing the rest for the workers on Sunday. Whether you are private or public, the government commanded that people should be resting on Sunday. Listen, it was because in the time of the Roman Empire there, the people are working. The, you know, the beginning of the week starts from Sunday. Sunday is the beginning of the week. So the Roman Empire, their king, has to see. If you look at it, you say that Sunday is always shining. So he picked people and gave a command that people should show that, that are from today. Sunday should be used as a day of rest because it's a shiny day. People cannot, cannot be walking under the sun on Sunday. That is his own reasons. His own reasons of saying that 
people cannot be serving and be working on the sun time. So he said, let Sunday be a resting day. Why Monday to uh, Monday to Saturday should be a working day? It was another proclamation, proclamation from the Roman Empire, Roman Kingdom then. Another reason why Christians are also, some believes that on Sunday like this, that Sunday is a day, a day whereby people are, uh, 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 Sunday is a day whereby Jesus resurrected from the dead. So some people is doing the resurrections, resurrections of Jesus' death as recreative remembrance. So they are observing it because of Jesus' preservation. But this is the truth of your fact. Jesus never command this. If Jesus can observe Saturday as a Sabbath day, and the disciples as also a Sabbath day, we have no reasons of we observing Sunday as a day of service on the command of Catholic leaders. So we have to be very, very careful and very, very careful so that we will not end up in hell, serving God's son gods. Nevertheless, we can also choose any day. Every day is of the Lord. Whether they use sun, uh, they are serving sun gods or no sun no, god, we can decide to serve God any day. But let us go and let us observe the scripture. Let us obey the scripture. There is no day, there is no place in the Bible where the Bible says we should serve God on, we should gather, I mean, gather to serve God on the Sunday. But the, in every Genesis to Revelation, it is being made that it should be on Sabbath day. I pray that you will be led in the spirit in Jesus' name. This is the reason I myself am declaring this. I myself have been doing the service of Sunday. But when somebody asked me in the individual I did, I decided to go into prayers. Into prayers. And I got to know that I have to come back to the service of Saturday and not to obey any Catholic leaders. I pray we will not go to hell in Jesus' name. So as from this moment, I'm here to announce to you that our service will be ordered, our worship service will be ordered as from this week, Saturday, we will be ordered every Saturday. I mean our service, worship service. So please, if you want to worship with us, you can WhatsApp me on my same number, plus 234-8138966287. That is the number of my WhatsApp. Don't call. WhatsApp me. You can call on WhatsApp because that number is just for WhatsApp. So for the Zoom link, I pray the Lord God be bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Don't just go if you are coming across this message. Don't just go without subscribing subscribe and press notification button the lord bless you in jesus name bye